Gary, is it a good time to have this game just to be able to change things up a bit? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it gives um, some of the players who need some game time an opportunity to stake a claim as such, you know. So um, that's what we're looking for. So uh, it's up to the lads to go out there and perform now. And with the maths of it, you basically have to go out there and win. It can get a little more complex than that, but more likely than not, you'll need the wins. So fairly straightforward in that sense. Yeah, but we approach every game in that way. You know, we, we look to go into the games to win it anyway. So it's no difference uh, tomorrow evening. But in saying that, we're up against a very good uh, opponent as well. Yeah, Ipswich, they could, they probably will change everybody around and it will still be a good side. Yeah, they got uh, a real good squad. They've got some strength and depth as well. So uh, whoever they put out tomorrow evening, it's going to be a strong side. And with you guys, is it a case of anyone really that's got a question mark over their fitness or was injured at the weekend? It's fairly clear cut that for Tuesday night, you give them a break and it's for, for others to come in? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we have got some injury concerns. So, um, you know, we don't want to risk any of them lads who've uh, got some bumps and bruises. So, uh, but in saying that as well, there's players who need the game time. So, uh, a combination of both, being sensible with the lads who've picked up one or two knocks and uh, making sure that we get some minutes into the lads who need them. And presumably not really giving away any sort of secret that with Will Mannion having had an injury and then Dimmy at the weekend, does James Holden get a go Tuesday night? Uh, we'll have a look at that this morning. You know, Will did train before the game on Saturday, so... He'll have another session this morning and then we'll, you know, Bonds will make his mind up uh, in what direction he wants to go in. Is there a bit of a decision to be made there moving forward in that you've got the two younger lads? If Dimmy is out for a period of time last season, you use the emergency loan window. Is that something that would be assessed over the coming days, the best route forward there? Yeah, I think so. But, um, you know, we'll have a look at that as we go forward. But, um, you know, there's two still two good, capable goalkeepers within the, uh, the group. So, uh, you know... We'll have a look at that and give them an opportunity to impress as well. And of course, whilst it's not great, the recent run of form, you talk about some of the players who are anxious to get into the side. If I've been out of the side and the team have lost a few games, it gives me that extra motivation, I suppose, with Tuesday night that you know there are potentially places up for grabs in the, the league starting eleven. Well, it gives them an opportunity to stake a claim. And um, the biggest thing is they have to perform. If they... If they're waiting and waiting um, and they have the opportunity to start and they don't turn up or don't perform, you know, you know, it doesn't give them that chance to play in a league game. So uh, they have to make sure that they take their opportunity when it crops up. And a couple of your summer signings in the form of Okunabire and Seiku Janna as well, I think both arrived at the club. You could maybe describe them as projects, certainly in the case of Okunabire working on his fitness. Are they now getting close to where you want them to be? Yeah, both of them are getting closer, you know. Um, again, it goes back to the opportunity, you know. Um, they'll be involved tomorrow evening and they've got a chance to stake a claim for, for the weekend. So, uh, But both are in a position where they've trained really well and really hard. So uh, now it's, you know, it'll be a match situation. And uh, in many respects, that's where, where you're judged. What's your overall assessment, Gary, of the past month or so? It's quite incredible, really, that Mark's been in charge for two and a half years and it's the first time we've hit what you might describe uh, as a, a blip at all. From your previous managerial experience, how do you see it all, all fitting in? Well, I think for any manager to go two and a half years with uh, a run that the club have been on and, you know, it's been great, you know. And if it's another two and a half years before we have a blip, everybody would take that. So, uh, but we knew it was going to be a tough period anyway. So, you know, we've, we've played some massive clubs in this last couple of weeks. So, uh, you know, we just have to, to ride that and uh, make sure that uh, there's some middle ground somewhere, not to be too high and not to be too low. Uh, as I said before, there's middle ground, uh, but two and a half years to be on the run that the club's been on has been brilliant. So if we've had a an indifferent month, we'll take that over that period of time. Yeah, and, and as you look at it, it must be a real case of striking a balance in that there will be things you want to improve, clearly. But equally, as you've just said, you have to keep in mind that of the six defeats, four of them 
have come against sides that have those bigger budgets would expect to be right at the the top of the table so keeping that that sense of perspective uh, there has to be that you know and um we were really aware that we were coming into a tough period so uh it hasn't surprised us in many ways you know we'd like to have got more points obviously against them sides and you know competed uh, against them which we have done you know but um You know, we we know where we are. We know where we're placed, and um, we'll keep working on which we've uh, we've done over. Does that make a bit of a difference? That to be fair, Mark mentioned on a few occasions heading into October how he anticipated that it would be a a tricky month, the way the fixtures had fallen. Does that help that that level of anticipation was there? And I guess it's being communicated to the players as well how best to to deal with that challenge and potential setbacks. Yeah, but as I've just touched on there, we know where we are. We know what uh, what we're about and what this club is and where we stand. Um, and, you know, we're fully aware of the tough period we're coming into, but um, we're competing with these clubs at the same level. Um, and we've done okay in the period of time that we've been at this level. We want to improve. We want to get more points on the board. Of course we do. But uh, we're aware that it was always going to be tough. And I guess there's always a, a danger of overthinking things really around formations and us talking about it too much. But having played a back four for the majority of games and then moving to a back three at the weekend, how do you see that process developing? How long will it take to get to where you want to be with that flexibility or decide if it's a route you want to, to go down long term? It's always good to have a, a so-called plan B, if you like, or you can change change of formation system uh, during the course of a game. But, you know, with the personnel that we've got, we're looking at something different. Uh, whether that will be for the next period of time, the next handful of games, who knows, you know? It all depend on results as well. We wanted to have a look at uh, a different formation. We'd spoken about it for quite some time, so it's just not just a case of, oh, let's try this. We've, we've actually spoken about it. We're back. Ah, there you go. We lost you for a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see how we go with it, as I say, and uh, we may stick with it for a, a period of time. We may revert back to our normal formation, but um, you know, one game won't uh, judge us on that formation. That's for sure. Cool. Oh, well, we very nearly got to the end of my bit. That was my last question. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that, Gary. Thank you. Gary, you talk about uh, taking uh, the opportunities, and it, it's time for those people who've uh, been in the wings to, to, to make the most of that. We saw that on Saturday, Lewis Simper came into the side and uh, um, really I thought he was he was the, the, the standout player really uh, from a Cambridge perspective. Yeah, he done really well. You know, we were pleased with him. He's trained well um, and it is about taking that opportunity when it comes up for, you know. Um, and we just touched, we spoke about it earlier on this morning that, um, you know, careers are made on that, you know, when an opportunity is there for you, you know, you've got to grab it and grasp it and, and make the most of it. And uh, for Sims, that, that, you know, that's for him at the moment. He's in the team. Uh, if you keep performing well, we'll stay in there. Cheers. Hi, Gary. Just um, on the injury front, are you able to confirm who's definitely out for tomorrow night? No, we can't say yes or no to anyone at the moment. We're going to have a head count this morning. There is some injury concerns, but... Um, you know, we'll wait till all the players are in, have a head count and then see where we are. But we will be one or two lighter than what we were at the weekend, I'm sure. OK. Um, and in terms of the EFL trophy as well, how important is this competition to you? Does it really matter if you progress tomorrow night or not? We want to win the game, that's for sure. Uh, and any competition or any game that we go into, we want to win. So um, that's our, our main focus at the moment, you know, the game on Tuesday evening. So we would like to perform well. We'd like them players who do go into the team to play well, to give us a, you know, a headache, if you like, for the weekend. But uh, yeah, we were approaching it in a, in a positive way to try and win it. And just in terms of the team's form at the minute, where, what areas do you think in particular need improving at the moment? Um, we Every game we want to perform well in, you know, and on Saturday, um, 
We changed the system at the formation. We were quite pleased with it, but the result, you know, dictates everything really. So uh, we're looking Tuesday night to build on that. And then obviously we've got an important league game at the weekend. So performances, you know, we want to make sure that we have a good performance Tuesday, which we can take into Saturday as well. Just finally on Adam May, is there any news on his scan results all yet? Uh, today we'll get uh, the results back on that. So we're keeping our fingers crossed it isn't uh, too long term.